Hey, what's going on guys? Austin here, and we are finally at the build video for the Ultimate Video Editing PC build. Let's begin. So here we are, we have all the parts we're going to be putting into this PC. And if you haven't built one before, this is basically just Legos for adults. Uh, the only thing that you really need is one of these standard screwdrivers. And this is going to allow you to install everything you'll ever need in your computer. So right here I'm going to start getting my motherboard ready to install into the case. I'm also going to take out some stuff that we'll need later such as the IO shield, these SATA cables, and the instructions manual. Now before I start installing anything I'm going to make sure my case is ready and install these standoffs since the case didn't have them pre-installed. Uh, the next thing I'll do is take out the mod event panels from the top since we'll need that space to connect the radiator from our Corsair H100i water cooler. Also while I'm here I'm going to put in the IO shield we got from the motherboard so we can fit in the motherboard. So first I'm going to uninstall those mod events which would otherwise be used to keep the system even quieter and it's really just some sound dampening pads that come off with four simple screws. Next I'm going to go ahead and lay the case on the side and as you can see there are labels for where we need to install the full size ATX motherboard. Here we have those standoffs that came with the case and it's just a matter of screwing them into the case. Now that that's done we're going to go ahead and pop in our i7 4770K processor into the motherboard and this is a pretty simple process. All we have to do is lift up the latch on the side, place the processor on top with the arrow matching the one on the motherboard and apply a lot of pressure to clamp it down. It may feel like you're going to break it, but don't worry, you won't. Next thing up, we have our two sticks of G-Skill Trident X 2400 MHz RAM, and this is probably the easiest part of the entire installation process. Installing RAM is really easy. All you have to do is release the latches on the sides and basically just drop in the stick. Now this too might need a good amount of pressure, but as long as you have the sticks facing the right way, you should be fine. Now the last thing to do before we put the motherboard into the case is install the IO shield. All you have to do is snap it in place on the back of the case and it will allow you to properly align the motherboard once you put it inside the case. As you can see the motherboard ports fit perfectly into the back of the shield and now the only thing left to do is secure the motherboard in with all of the screws. Next up while we still have some space in the case we're going to install our power supply and this is the EVGA Supernova NEX 750G. As you can see it comes in some pretty fancy packaging but once we take it out you can see that to install this thing all you have to do is align it into the back of the machine and install four or five screws depending on your case and power supply and you're basically good to go. Now that that's done we're moving on to the cooler we mentioned before the Corsair H100i and to get this installed we just have to connect the radiator and the two fans to the top of the case and the water block right onto the CPU. So right here we're just going to remove the other panel from the computer case to get access to the motherboard cutoff to mount the CPU cooler. And attaching the radiator is fairly simple, we just have to position it at the top of the case where we remove those mod vents and fix it in with 8 screws. And once that's done we can install the two fans and connect them to the cooler and place the cooler onto the CPU. It already has thermal place applied so it's a pretty easy installation. Next I'm going to open up the front door to get access to the first bay and drop in that CD player that I'll probably never even use. And to install this I simply use four screws to secure it into place and connect it to power as well as SATA for the data connection. The other media drive we'll be using in this build is a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue hard drive. And to get this installed we're just going to remove the tray from the hard drive bay and install the screws onto the hard drive to secure it into place. After we're done we can just slide it back into the hard drive bay and the same thing goes for our Samsung 840 series SSD. Just install it into the tray and slide it back to the computer case. Once it's there you can go ahead and again install it with the power and SATA connections to the motherboard. Finishing up the last component we need to install is the graphics card. Here we have the EVGA GeForce GTX 760 graphics card. Now to install this we're going to have to remove two PCI Express brackets from the bracket so that we can get it lined up with the PCI lane on the motherboard. Now to do this all we have to do is again use that screwdriver and remove the two screws in place. After that's done we just have to push the graphics card into place and reinstall those screws we took out. Now that we have everything installed all that's left to do is connect all of the wires making sure everything is powered and connected to the motherboard. So here I have everything properly installed, all of the power connectors, all of the SATA cables, everything is connected to both the power supply and the motherboard and so far everything's looking pretty nice. Except for the back. 
All that's left is cable management, uh, binding all of these wires down so that I can actually get that door back onto the case and close it all up. It's a long, tedious process, so I'll just show you guys how it looks when you do it properly. Here it is. Everything's looking nice and maintained. There's no stray wires anywhere. I think the cable management turned out really well, and it's actually pretty easy to do this in this case. Uh, now that that's done, we can cover up the cables with the door and take a final look inside. Everything turned out beautiful. The case is all black and red with no excess cables or anything. Everything's just nice, tidy, and all around just looks great. Uh, now all we have to do is turn it on, install Windows, and we are done with the Ultimate Video Editing PC build. And we're done. So there we have it. This is the ultimate video editing machine. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think the cable management was done really nicely. It just has a really slick look to it. I'm really glad I chose this case. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a beast of machine. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, install all of my things. I have Windows running, but I need to install all my applications on it. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me on this series. If you guys liked this video and this entire series be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button subscribing if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next video